Alrighty, so we now have two more new heroes meant for Rift of Chaos. Let's test them out. Hello everyone, this is Shinobi, once again with another Awakened Chaos Era video. So today, we are going to test out two more new heroes that Ace has recently introduced, one Lego and one Epic, and let's check them out and see how good they can be in Drift of Chaos. Hold on a second, before we move ahead with the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and if possible, share my video, but do not forget to comment on the video. I would like to hear from all of you. All right, so we now have got two new heroes, Simma and Karina. Simma is a uh, legendary wood hero and Karina is a epic wood hero. Okay, so they are both meant to be useful in Rift of Chaos, but uh, we will have to look at their abilities and test them out to see how useful they are there. But as far as I have tested, they are quite useful there. They are a little bit useful there, not very useful, but at the same time, you can use them there. Uh, but then you'll have to build them up slowly to make them uh, useful in higher levels okay so let's quickly look at their stats and their ability simma has got 1248 attack and 106 speed which is not at the high end of it but she has got an eight tier health which is good for her because some of her abilities are based on her max health so she has got a trait uh, which is body of endurance upon receiving an ability that applies negative effects reduces the negative effects trigger chance by 75 percent and damage received by 40 percent this does not mean that she's immune to negative effects it only means that she has a 75 percent chance to not trigger that effect and also at the same time she has got a 100 percent chance to reduce the damage by 40 percent of the damage dealt by the enemy so that's a really good trade for surviving in rift of chaos her uh, basic ability, it deals 120% damage to one enemy and applies crit rate down to them for two turns. Her special, which is a good special, when an ally receives negative effects, Simma launches a counterattack, which is good, with the special ability to deal 120% damage and randomly transfers one negative effect on one team member to the attacker up to one times per round. So her special is something that happens every round so every round she will be able to transfer one negative effect that has been applied on that round to one of the team member okay but that's a random thing that's going to happen but she's able to do that but the best thing is that she's able to counter attack that's what matters more uh, and then the damage scales with simma's max health so, so the higher the health you're going to give her the damage is going to scale based on that but at this time i do not have her at very high health so when I tested her out, she was doing more damage based on her attack rather than based on her health. So I might have to give her like 35,000 HP. Currently, I have her at 20,000 HP, okay? But if I'm able to get her to 30,000 HP, I might be able to do more damage from her. Her ultimate is one of the best one. She deals 150% damage to one enemy and randomly transfers two negative effects on each team member to the enemy. That is great, okay? The problem with Rift of Chaos is that the boss is not going to take a froze freeze or she, the boss is not going to get stunned. The boss is not going to get silenced. The boss is not going to take the bomb. So the only thing that we can get out of this, uh, this ultimate is that she's going to cleanse, okay? She's going to remove two, uh, randomly transfers two negative effect on each team member. So each of the team member will get uh, two negative effects removed from them and if it is transferred if the negative effect is such that it can be transferred to the boss then well and good she uh, will ensure that the bo her attack is going to her ultimate is going to ignore eight percent of the enemy's defense per negative effect transferred and this ability cannot be deflected so that is simma's ability let's look at karina's so this is karina over here Unfortunately, I did not have enough jelly to get her to 70. So even though we are doing the test, we are supposed to spend our own jelly to do it, okay? So I couldn't get her to 70, but that's fine. She's still useful at that level. Okay, so let's quickly look at her abilities. She has got a trait, uh, 
Dragon's Heritage on active attacks if the target's attack is highest on both teams, gains 30% bonus attack and launches a bonus attack with the basic ability. So she is able to do a bonus attack every single time she's being hit or um, sorry, on her active attacks. On her atti active attack, she's going to get a bonus attack from her basic ability simply because the enemy obviously in rift of chaos the boss has got very high attack so you will be able to deal she'll be able to do a bonus attack every time she's doing an active attack um a winked bolt which is a basic ability it deals 120 percent damage to one enemy with 75 percent chance to remove one positive effect on them if the enemy has no positive effect applies random stats down to them for two turns now remember she's able to do a bonus attack with this very same basic ability so she's obviously able to remove more than one uh, positive effect from her attack and at the same time she's also able to place random stats and she was placing a lot of random stats on the boss as when i was testing her so she's really good for uh, the rift of chaos because she's able to place a lot of random stats down on the boss Okay, so her special, it's a triple shot, deals 180% damage to one enemy and removes one negative effect on this hero. If this hero has no negative effect, randomly removes one negative effect on one ally. But th remember, this is only on one ally. So she will be able to remove only one negative effect. So she's not a complete team cleanser, but at least she's able to cleanse one negative effect from one of the team member and this is on a three turn cooldown her ultimate it deals 200 240 percent damage to an enemy and applies unhealable and increased damage taken for two turns cool so you can have increased damage taken on the boss and also unhealable doesn't matter on the boss but you can also use her in queen of tides if you want to use her in that sense okay so this is on a three turn cooldown so both her special and her ultimate is on a three turn cooldown right and she's also going to always going to take a bonus turn if you're going to go against someone who has got a higher attack which is always good all right so let's quickly test them out in rift of chaos okay at this time i do not have enough stats to go to stage three in arctic goliath but that doesn't matter I'm trying to build my team and hopefully I'll be able to build uh, one good enough to go to stage four and five and such areas. Okay, so let's quickly look at uh, how Sima is going to work in Arctic Goliath. So uh, currently Sima stats out here is this. I have given her a revival set and she's got 22,000 HP. I want to give her more, but then I also want to give her a lot of speed. Uh, and currently she's got 81 percent uh, resistance so hopefully i'll find some gear that will be giving her more hp uh, and i'll also test her with some uh, attack gear so that we can see the difference in damage that she was able to do and of course her uh, transferability does not require any focus uh, if you want that uh, debuff to be placed on the boss then obviously you will require some focus on her but as far as cleanse is concerned i do not require a lot of focus on her but still she's got 93 percent focus okay so let's quickly look at this run using the higher hp and then the next one we will look with higher attack and see the damage difference i'm not going to show you the entire run just the starting stages and the end stages so that we can see all her abilities and also find the battle report so let's quickly look at this run uh, so Overall, it's my Hyun Wu who's going to deal, uh, who's the main DPS over here. But uh, Sima is here just so that she can transfer cleanse wherever, whenever she can, and also deal her, uh, deal the damage based on her max HP, which will be really great. Uh, and I just like the way she's working out here in the Rift of Chaos. But the thing is, I need to find the right stats on her in order to make her the most useful out here. She's dealing plenty of damage here. It's not that she's not dealing any damage. She's dealing plenty of damage. Uh, and she's also getting those bonus damages based on her max health. So um, overall, and she can also, you know, like get herself, sustain herself uh, sufficiently good, well enough 
of course she's got the revival set so she's able to sustain herself and do stuff so you can see uh, her ultimate dealt 7000 damage and um, and 5000 damage on her bonus attack and she's also counter attacking whenever uh, some uh, debuff has been placed on the allies so you're getting all those damage out of her so let's quickly look at the end uh, and see uh, what her overall damage is from this stats we are at one health bar of the boss so you can see uh, whenever the debuff is being placed by the boss she's doing counter attack but the amount of damage that she's able to deal from her max health because her max health even at 27,000 is not really really high at this moment okay so uh, 20 at 22,000 hp she's not dealing the kind of damage that we are expecting so i think like um it's better to give her more attack rather than you can see over here 1737 that's not the kind of damage that we want of course that's an additional damage that she's doing but that's not the damage that we want okay so let's look at the battle report and see what is the damage she dealt so my hyun Wu was able to deal 61,000 sorry 618,000 damage whereas Simma dealt only 69,000 damage my Jacosta dealt almost as much damage as her so she is not really doing the kind of damage that is required from the max HP so I think like it's better to give her more attack rather than HP so let's quickly change her gear and see if she's going to work with the attack uh, gear so here I gave her an attack gear with 4900 attack 100% crit rate 250 256% crit damage so let's see what kind of damage she can deal with this uh, attack gear on her right so it should come through now <laughs> oh wow okay so let's look at her attack now and see what kind of damage she's dealing there's my muriel placing all the buffs on everybody and hyun Wu went in oh she hyun Wu is obviously an attack hero offense hero he's he's dealing a lot of damage uh, so you can see the damage from uh my sima was much better when i gave her a lot of attack let's look at her once more and see what kind of damage she's doing and then we'll go to the end and see the battle report okay she dealt seventeen thousand at uh, uh damage there that's great that's great so an attack attack gear on her is much better so let's go to the end and see the battle report so we are here at the end uh last bar of the boss let's see what kind of damage she's able to place okay all right she's able to transfer that debuff you saw the freeze was removed from my uh, light cane so yeah she's able to transfer those debuffs which is really great she's able to cleanse somebody that's what we want from all of our heroes and if she's able to deal damage also that's great so that was a very good damage that she dealt out there uh which is much better and you can also see that counter attack came through right so uh, giving her an attack gear at this time seems to be much better she now dealt 211 uh, thousand damage rather than dealing just 51,000 or 61,000 damage so yeah an attack gear on her is way better than the max hp one give her as much attack and along with if you can get her a lot more hp along with the attack then that's great uh, but giving her an attack uh, attack gear is much much more beneficial for us so let's look at karina now and see whether how useful she can be in rift of chaos so this is my karina at this time she has got a, a full speed set on her so let's quickly look at her full stats she has got 19,000 hp 210 speed 77 percent focus and 30 percent resistance i need to increase those focus and resistance okay but, but at the same time keep her hp and speed high so hopefully i can get the gear to do that uh, so let's quickly look at the run and see how she acts or how she how her abilities uh, are useful in this rift of chaos quite it's taking a little bit of time okay so here she comes in uh, and she moves in places her basic ability and you can see the number of debuffs that she's placing on the boss 
okay not very useful in queen of tides because that's not what we want in queen of tides uh, but she certainly is able to place those uh defense downs those uh you know uh, reduced stats on the boss including the crit rate down which is really good for us uh, and she's also able to place uh, do a lot of damage we will ultimately look at her damage overall damage that she's done at the end of the round but you can see her skills are really really effective out here and she's also able to cleanse somebody uh, one random ally so that's also really good for us because we do need some kind of cleanse on all of our attack heroes on all the people who are able who are doing the damage we do need some kind of cleanse on them which allows the other allies to be cleaned of the debuffs that's being placed on them especially if the it is from on the fastest attacker that will be great and of course i do have my light cane to remove a debuff from everybody every time he gets hit so yeah that's great <laughs> so and you can see the kind of uh stats down she's placing she's also because it's quite random uh we might not be able to get a complete picture on <laughs> You know a complete consistency on what we can get as part of debuffs are concerned but as of now i can see that she is really useful when it comes to placing various kinds of debuffs on the boss so we'll go to the end of the round and see what kind of damage she was able to play is uh how effective this uh, round was uh, at the last stages of the uh, of this battle all right so we are at the last bar of the uh, boss all these um stats down that she's placing on the boss is allowing us to survive and also allowing my hyun Wu to deal a lot more damage um, and that's really great for us and she's also dealing sufficiently good enough damage it's not like she's got a high damage compared to hyun Wu, but her damage is significant enough for us to say that okay uh, our Karina is dealing enough damage out there uh, and at the same time she's doing so many hits on the boss and ensuring that the boss is getting a lot of stats down on him and allows us to deal more damage from our Hyun Wu or other DPS that we'll be having when we are doing Arctic Goliath. So let's look at the battle report and see the overall damage that she's dealt. She's only dealt, dealt 69,000 damage on this kind of a gear set. So I can test her out using a, web, uh, a complete warrior set, uh, a, an attack set and see how how much of damage she can place on the boss we will quickly jump onto the last stages by quickly changing her gear to a warrior set okay we are at the last stages of the run uh, i have converted my heron into a warrior set and let's see how much damage she can deal but i think like she's not meant to be an attacker she's more meant to be a debuffer uh, her damage is okay it's not bad but unlike Simma, she's not meant to be a damage dealer she's meant more to be a, a what do you call a debuffer who's supposed to debuff uh, the boss such that our dps is able to deal more damage at the same time she should be having able to sustain herself sufficiently strong enough uh, such that she should be able to you know allow us to finish off the uh, run without much of a problem um, we might have to give her uh, a revival set and give her a lot of resistance and focus uh, to ensure that she's able to uh, place all those debuffs timely but otherwise she's also dealing some good enough uh, damage on the boss let's look at the battle report and see what kind of damage th uh, she was able to do this time she was able to do 207,000 damage on the boss so yeah so it's not a bad damage compared to the rest of them uh, but of course my Hyun Wu was the one who was dealing the most damage so I, overall I think both these new heroes um, have been uh, meant to be used in Rift of Chaos especially against Arctic, um, Arctic Goliath and I think like they will be useful for us but the only problem is we need to gear them up build them up in a way that they will be able to uh, uh you know manage to deal uh or survive the hits of the boss which is a problem for all the other heroes as well every other hero has to save has to face the same problem that we have to give them sufficient gear sufficient hp and defense that they are able to survive the boss's hit um, and arena here 
can do a lot of damage at the same time she can also place a lot of debuffs so uh, if you want to take her and use her just as a debuffer then that's great if you want to use her as a dpser she's not going to be the best dpser so it's preferable to use her to, to her strengths right she her strength is placing debuffs on the boss so go ahead and use her as a debuffer Sima's strength uh, is a two-pronged kind of thing like uh, should I use her for a max health damage or should I use her for an attack based damage as far as my tests are concerned uh, she can deal more damage uh, based on her attack rather than her max health uh, so I'd prefer to give her as much attack and crit damage as possible and give her as much as HP along with that so that she's able to get that additional bonus damage from her HP but uh, her attack is more preferable compared to keeping her in full uh, HP and she's not going to place any kind of debuff other than crit rate down uh, so I think like yeah use her more for her cleanse and for her damage rather than for her debuff and use Karina more for her debuff rather than her damage. That's what I think from the initial testing of these heroes are concerned. Uh, that's what I think about them. So let me know what you think about them. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, uh, these new heroes. I'd certainly like to hear from you. So until next time, peace, love and blessings to all of you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.